So this is the Crate Appeal Collapsible Wire Pet Crate in the blue color. It's a great item for your dog because it will open up and uh, be portable and a nice living arrangement for your dog all in one. So you can see it basically has a handle like a suitcase. Basically folds up that nicely. This is the extra small size, so it is pretty small. You can get it all the way to the for bigger size dogs too. Uh, but this one will open up nicely. I'll show you exactly how it works. It's got a little clip here on the top next to the handle that you basically just pop free and it will let everything open. So I'll just open up here. Sorry, Joey. Just expand it out just like that. And it's got two walls. Each of them will go up. We'll expand all the way to the back. You'll see it's got this little like lip here. It will actually grab a hold of the top so it won't shut and fold this way. And to keep it from folding back, it's got two clips here on the outside. So it's not gonna go forward, it's not gonna go back. It's locked in place unless you engage it. Same with the front or the door area. You can actually just bring this up and just do the same thing, lock it into place so it's not gonna fold shut. And then it has a little doggy door. So you can let your dog in and out of that very nicely. If you wanna clean the crate, it does have a latch down here that you just push forward and then push back and then bring forward. And it actually allows you to bring that tray right out of the bottom. So you can wash that by hand, clean it out if your dog has an accident. It's great to put one of those nice soft uh, crate beds in here. And then what I'm gonna do is show you guys how this divider goes in. So I'm gonna take out the plastic tray and set it aside. And each, each of the crates come with this little divider. So this way you can actually expand the crate as the dog grows. So naturally, you're gonna be dividing off the back area. So they can still walk in and out of the crate as you want them to. So you just basically place this in the bottom. Just kind of feed it in and out because those little metal hooks are gonna catch every time you go in there. So just kind of snake it in and out. And then once you're in there, you can put your hand through the door and actually help it up this way. So once you have it in there, you want to just turn it sideways and then wherever you need it to go in the crate. It does take a little bit of uh, effort to get it in there, by the way. So then you're just going to have those hooks meet up on one side and bring those other hooks around to meet up on the other side until they're all synchronized, just like that. So now that divider is not going to move whatsoever. Hopefully you can kind of see it in there. I know it's a little hard. But now there's two separate compartments. This area is completely closed off. You can't go in or out of that area. So you don't want to put your dog back there and actually they won't be able to get out. So now you can actually have your dog come in. You can put this tray back in here. You can actually put the tray in first if you wanted to um, to get it past that or you just kind of push it a little bit and there you go. So now that crate tray's in there and you're set to have that only front area convenient for the dog so you can get them in and out and they can grow so let's say they're a little bitty puppy maybe they're the size of uh of joey here when he was a puppy which is probably really small you just have him sitting there that way he's not so comfortable that he can poop in one corner and sleep in the other and that's really part of the whole pot potty training and crate training activity so just expand it as your dog goes and like i said you just can bring this Anywhere you like, it's great to have around to bring to your friend's house if they don't have a crate for your dog to feel at home. Dogs are den animals, so they really like the confines of their home. They really want some place that they can go and feel secure. So if something around them is starting to scare them, thunder, construction, loud noises, uh, baseball games, football games, whatever, <laughs> um, they can actually feel comfortable and have a place to run and hide and feel safe. So it's nice to have around, and crate training is something that a lot of people do do with their dogs and keep them nice and happy. Me personally, I keep, I keep my dog Tebow in his crate at night, so he actually feels nice and comfortable there and uh, sleeps next to us. And if he needs anything, I just open the door for him. He comes out, so he tells me when he wants to come in and out of it. So he's very good about that. But anyway, this is the Crate Appeal Collapsible Wire Pet Crate.